everybody, Marco with Consumer Warrior here, and uh, I just wanted to have some follow-up uh, thoughts uh, about the uh, HP Envy X360 laptop, which uh, I recently did a video on, uh, a couple videos on. Um, I just want to say that uh, as time goes on, I really love this laptop, and I um, I know in my other review video I played some music and didn't come well through my microphone, but actually in person the speakers are pretty decent for laptop speakers. Um, of course I use my uh, Bluetooth headphones a lot and that is also nice to have that Bluetooth 5. Um, and uh, my headphones I don't think aren't even taking advantage of the full Bluetooth 5. I think they're like 4.2 and uh, you know that sounds amazing, of course. Just the value that this laptop provides at its price point, uh, especially at the sale price of $600 uh, from Costco, is um, what you get for that is really great. And um, as you may know from a previous video, um, I opened this uh, bad boy up and it uh, wasn't all that hard to disassemble. Uh, I would recommend getting a, uh, about a $20 uh, tool kit uh, off of Amazon. Uh, which I will provide a link to. And uh, that gives you some plastic prying tools that make it a lot easier, as well as the, uh, the T5 Torx bit that you need for the one security screw, and then some fill up, uh, smaller fill up screws uh, below the uh, adhesive strips that you remove. Um, it wasn't too bad putting those adhesive strips back on, uh, that comes off really clean and uh, puts back on and I haven't had any trouble with them uh, coming off or anything like that and um, I since I upgraded with 16 gigabytes uh, with that crucial kit once again I'll put a link to that as well on Amazon is uh, hovers around just below $70 right now for 16 gigabytes of 3200 megahertz RAM um, it's uh, I've seen an improvement and uh, it's just nice having that overhead for example um, right now I happen to have uh, the laptop right here with me, and um, um, not, I'll see if I can get on the screen, but um, let me just adjust this a little bit here. Okay. Now, if you go to the performance tab of task manager after you go into the detailed settings click on memory um, this little um, breakdown here in the bottom will specify uh, the parts of your memory what they're doing which part is uh, in actively in use uh, specifies a part that um, where what's in RAM has to be written to uh, your disk before it can be used. And then this big chunk over here, another, um, the first chunk is um, about 4.9 gigabytes in use. And then standby, which means cached in the RAM, which means Windows 10 has it ready um, so it can come up quickly without having to access the disk at all. This makes a uh, Things snappier, smoother, um, so that you're not waiting on the disk to retrieve the uh, whatever you're looking at if it's in this cache. And um, although this disk is snappy, being an NVMe, uh, RAM is still faster. And then uh, the final part here, you can see it shows the actual free RAM that's not being cached or used there for anything. It's uh, about 5.5 gigabytes, so less than 8 gigabytes. So it's using 5.5, um, 16, so what's that? Um, uh, 11, 10.5, uh, using about 10.5 gigabytes in total right now. So that is more than, uh, more than 8. And that's what it came with and um, like I said it was uh, it was pretty easy to uh, take this apart with uh, some of those little uh, extra tools uh, that were inexpensive yep just make sure you go into the BIOS after you uh, replace your RAM 
And um, see that's recognizing the BIOS and save and exit is a crucial step for crucial RAM. <laughs> so that it's recognized and it works out just fine. Uh, <laughs> um, and another thing I noticed uh, when I open this thing up is um, it has a whole spare uh, NVMe slot, which uh, is fantastic. Uh, so this has, uh, that's what you want. Um, Something like this, uh, uh, especially with those prices coming down, you can easily get an extra terabyte for not much more than $100. You know, uh, if you wait for a decent price, $115 or so, you can get a great, you know, Western Digital Blue or Black one terabyte drive. Um, other good choices are A Data, uh, the SX uh, 8100, uh, 8200. The Sabrent, or Sabrent, I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, uh, one terabyte. Uh, make sure you go for the TLC drives. QLC is a little bit cheaper, but it um, doesn't have quite the endurance rating. It depends, though. You know, if you're going to do heavy reading and writing, uh, you definitely want the TLC, but QLC will still last quite a long time. Something like the Intel 660P is a good example of that. Um, but uh, back to, um, yeah, so having that expandability is great at this price point. Um, that's, I think that's all you should really need from, uh, from a laptop like this. Um, and once again, just the fit and finish of this uh, continues to impress me. Um, one thing is uh, the, uh, when it's closed, um, it's held very securely by the, uh, some magnets that are in the uh, the top of the screen and the base, so that when you carry it around, there's no really, um, I noticed in the Best Buy model, there's a little like flex if uh, and give, if you press on a certain part, it you could tell it's not laying perfectly flat. This one model doesn't have that at all. I heard this was based on the uh, 2019 chassis of the uh, HP NVX 360, and uh, if that's the case, it's superior, uh, the 2020 is, Definitely a downgrade with those uh, smaller uh, exhaust vents. This has uh, two exhaust vents on each side, with each one with its own fan, I confirmed, because I opened it up. And uh, two heat pipes that are one is going to uh, each side and touching in the middle uh, over that processor. Um, so the cooling is really great on this thing. And uh, I haven't done any gaming on it, but so without doing any gaming, I haven't ever heard the fans turn on. It's uh, it's really whisper quiet. So uh, if that's important to you, and it should be important to a lot of people, then uh, uh, it's definitely a plus. Um, so yeah, overall, uh, you know, the uh, full metal construction, even when you're taking it apart, it makes it nice and solid going back together. And uh, I love that these things are, even though um, maybe it's not the easiest to upgrade. Just the fact that it's upgradable I'm seeing nowadays is becoming more and more of a rarity. You know, I hate being stuck with those soldered RAM laptops from Lenovo and the like. Such a terrible trend. Uh, we should have be able to upgrade our own laptops for just regular people. You don't have to be an enthusiast. It's not that difficult as you could see from my videos. Um, I'm not all that tech savvy, uh, really, you know, I have common sense, I know some things, but uh, it's not like, uh, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's not like it's my profession or anything like that, so, um, you know, it's just so important, it's so nice being able to upgrade your hard drive later on, if I really wanted to, I can get 32 gigabytes, I don't know if the max is 64 gigabytes, and, um, uh, you know, and, you know, the brightness hasn't been uh, an issue at all. Plenty bright for me. The screen quality has been good. I haven't played around with the brightness settings, or not the brightness settings, but the hue and color saturation yet. But I heard that might be something to uh, play around with, um, which you could do in the AMD Adrenaline. Um, and uh, that's uh, coming up for me. I'm going to take a look at that. Um, so, yeah, if, uh, upping the saturation just a bit might make uh, certain colors pop a little more. It might, I don't know if it makes it close to true on this or not. You'd have to get like a colorimeter, you know, some kind of professional calibrating. Um, or, you know, actually, uh, I've done this with um, 
with monitors and TVs, you could just get like a test image. And uh, some a lot of games have that uh, where it has um, test images and that helps you calibrate. So I haven't done that yet with this display. So uh, that'll be on my to-do list. Um, and if that uh, yields some good results, um, I'll, I'll tell you guys about it and uh, I'll make a video about it. Um, battery life has been great. Uh, uh, this thing really can go all day. Um, yeah, the 57 uh, watt hours, um, the Ryzen processor just sips power. If you're willing to lower the brightness of the screen at all, I'm sure you can make it, you know, pretty heavy use. I watch, I have YouTube videos going for hours. Um, right now I'm binging, um, I've been on a um, YouTube series uh, called uh, Critical Role. Shout out to Critical Role, guys. You guys are awesome. Um, they uh, they play uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, with some voice actors and who work on video games, and uh, they're a lot of fun. And I have this playing while I'm doing other things uh, for hours, and uh, it just keeps chugging along playing uh, YouTube uh, videos. Uh, I'll put it to sleep uh, during the day, but um, usually I don't even have to charge it until um, you know later in the evening at night. And then full charge in the morning, and that's good to go. Um, you know, sometimes I might charge it because it, it does, uh, it's kind of nitpicking, but batteries, uh, lithium ion batteries, do tend to last longer if you keep them at a charge level somewhere uh, between 20% and say uh, 80% is kind of a sweet spot for battery longevity. And uh, there are other factors that play into it, um, like temperature and uh, other management uh, type stuff. But um, so I kind of do that. You know, if it's um, if it's uh, not too low, I don't charge it unnecessarily. I kind of just let the battery go down and run off the battery until it gets closer to uh, that um, 20, 30 percent. At the same token, I don't let. I try not to let it go. You know, close to zero or below twenty percent before I charge it. So um, that's just something to keep in mind if you really want to maximize the battery life and if it's uh, not a big inconvenience. You know, but uh, if you don't have easy access, it's not uh, the end of the world. Um, from time to time, if you just go hundred to five or something like that, and uh, yeah, also charges on that USB C, so convenient to uh, charge on the go as well. If you don't want to bring the uh, the barrel connector with you. Um, and yeah, I just, man, I just, <laughs> I really love this laptop. It's really great. The feel of it, I just like run my hands over this baby, the smooth metal. <laughs> Backlit keyboard, all that. Just, just a great, great laptop. I think, uh, the upgradability, the, uh, build quality, the, uh, the new Ryzen processor kind of enabling uh, this great package at a price point that's reasonable is uh, really a fantastic combination that I, th I think is going to be hard to beat uh, unless you're willing to spend significantly more money for the foreseeable future. So um, that about wraps it up for this video. Um, said uh, what I wanted to say about this laptop. Um, you know, if uh, I find some uh, noticeable improvements to it. Um, oh, there was one thing. Um, actually, uh, I did uh, ended up running Crystal Disk Mark on this thing to show you the um, performance of the Samsung uh, NVMe drive uh, on this one, uh, 512 gigabytes. Um, so, if you'd like to see, those are the numbers the with the uh, anime girl. Uh, showing them off for you there so I'm sure you can see that clearly there so you've got um, 3500 sequential one megabyte um, megabytes per second read and uh, 2200 write so what the max of SATA uh, drives is 500 theoretically and they don't always hit that so this is um, the write is almost five times faster and uh, the read is um, over uh, seven times faster. So, yeah, pretty, uh, 
pretty awesome, pretty awesome. So yeah, I love these uh, NVMe drives, they're really fantastic. Um, if you have a laptop or a uh, desktop computer and you're not running off at least of a SATA SSD, not to mention if you're able, if your motherboard supports an NVMe drive and you don't have one, please do yourself a favor, get one and either clone Windows or better yet, do a fresh Windows reinstall. Uh, you can get it on a download it from Windows, a USB, uh, make a USB stick, do a creation tool, and uh, I could do a video about that as well. Uh, do a fresh Windows install, you know, I'm sure there's a bunch of crap on there you don't need anymore. Make sure you save everything you do need, do a backup, and um, it's like a, it's a night and day difference. It's really the biggest difference you can make to a modern computer is from a hard disk drive to one of these flash-based drives uh, SSDs, solid state drives. So do yourself a favor and please do that. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment and uh, you know I could do a video helping out more in depth on that topic because uh, it makes it makes a big difference. That and making sure you have at least enough RAM where you're not dipping into the hard disk all the time, which nowadays is eight gigabytes is the minimum. And, uh, and even at eight gigabytes, uh, I feel like it's handicapping yourself too much nowadays. Really the new minimum should be 16 gigabytes. Uh, and enthusiast would be 32 gigabytes, which is more than you need, but you never have to worry about it. I don't, I'm not even there yet. I've never had a system with 32 gigabytes. So, uh, I would like to try it to see if I could perceive any noticeable difference. I'm guessing no, even with windows caching, but, um, yeah, I'd say 16 gigabytes really should be the new uh, the new minimum from 2020 on. You know, it's a new decade, so uh, let's uh, have some improvements at least with the way things are going. Uh, it seems to be going a lot the other direction, so let's uh, <laughs> let's make what progress we can. All right, so showed you that. So now seeing the uh, NVMe drive performance, that's, that is about all I wanted to say about this. So um, once again, my name is Marco. This is Consumer Warrior. And uh, look to me for uh, help with finding really uh, good value, bang for the buck products. And I'm going to try to steer you away from uh, any companies that are cutting corners. Um, and uh, or rely more on marketing than quality products. You know, I like to take the uh, uh, look at a company like Tesla, which um, is uh, really innovating and making quality products. They put all their money and effort into that rather than marketing. And uh, sure, they might have some issues when they're just starting out new products and they're doing unprecedented things, but they make it right in the end. And um, that's what more companies should be like. So um, that's what's important to me. I'm gonna talk about things that I know, that I have experience with, that I like, so you can, so it's a sure bet, so uh, you won't be disappointed. So um, look forward to that in the future, guys. Um, love spending time with you. Uh, until next time, uh, stay safe out there and uh, insert catchphrase here. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I'll think of one eventually. All right, bye.